<laughs> the list of quarterbacks worthy of a second round selection. Ooh. Go. Well, there's three that are that are somewhat worthy. You could go somewhat worthy. Well, okay. I, I still believe right now for fantasy this year, you, you've got the big three who dominated last year, mm-hmm. right? You've got Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen. In any order you want, you can make a good argument for for all of them. In the second round. It, in the second round is where they're going in a lot of drafts this year. But what I have found is even like they're going to be great. You know, it's not going to be a bust pick if they don't get injured. But you're giving up a really good running back, a really good wide receiver there. And only one team wins the championship. You can be good when you draft them. But the best team is going to be who got the best value in the draft. For for me, I like the Justins. I like Justin Herbert and Justin Fields because you get them several rounds later. And then I get that second round running back or that second round wide receiver. Mm -hmm. And if they hit, then I'm the best team. That's, That's how I'm approaching this season. What about you, sir? Uh, yeah, I, I I shy away from the early quarterback. Again, talked about the the scoring discrepancy for tight ends. The, the quarterbacks was huge last year. The top three, it was a really really big advantage, especially compared to like the the middle tier. You know, quarterback four through six or seven, which over the last four years or so, that the the points per game difference of a of the QB four is only like two or three, but it was a huge spread this past year so I'm, I'm more with jason that i'd love to get fields a little bit later and then if i'm if i miss out because i i pushed too far mm. i gambled and lost then it's i, I think for me it's geno smith okay who i think he is the the late round quarterback to go after the golf no he is just no thank you he <laughs> Why? He his, he's his up and he's so up and down the, when he's when what's he's, with the golf hate? The, it's the not, last nine weeks of last season and Amra St. Brown and you sure. you're talking about Bijan. What about Jameer Gibbs? I mean, he could be a, a significant game changer. Jamison Williams is going to come oh, back at some absolutely. point. Yeah. I mean, so the the issue with golf when you when you get to guys like golf, if you look last year, he had an excellent season, but it comes in a disgusting way when when you look at <laughs> when you look at consistency he's yeah. just wrecking your team half the time so he's a good streaming guy if he's at home um he, his home road splits were, were crazy last year so he's just not someone i want to rely on week in week out um i think right now you got seven quarterbacks that you can say are plug and play and mm-hmm. then if you don't get one of those guys Sure, you can take a look at the opening schedule and say, well, do I like Jared Goff's week one? Draft him to start him week one. But I'm not drafting him to just be my season-long starter because he's going to have some bad games too. The latest you should draft your season-long starter. How late is too late? Last round? Yeah. I mean, uh, no round. I, 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 uh, so I you would take a wait till like round eight, round nine to take a quarterback? And yeah, that's not absolutely. a problem. And then you, wouldn't you, you might wind up with... One of the rookies, then, don't you uh, think? Yeah, I wouldn't pick it. I, I mean, wouldn't pick it. Who, by the way, I just started right. the show singing his praises. Yeah, he looked Sam Howell. You know, I mean, very good. Oh, oh. <laughs> don't get this guy started well, on Sam believer. Howell. I'm a believer. I think Sam Howell's going to be good and good for fantasy. He he runs the ball as well. He's got great wide receivers. I'm excited to see what Eric Bieniemy can do. So. Of course. I'm, so you like your big Sam Howell guy? The, yeah. the, the, our we have a one specific drawback on Sam Howell on this program. We discovered mm. it about three weeks ago oh. or so. And again, do we need I mean, to if we're talking yeah. about looks, right? I don't know if this is a fantasy football yeah, metric. No, it is. But it just, like, is he ready to be an elite quarterback? And certainly for here, maybe this is a me thing, it comes down to hair. Mm. And, it, like, how can you follow the bedhead oh, no. into battle? Like, we don't know <laughs> what's up with that. You know, like, can you can you trust a quarterback who looks like he just woke up? Is he too? Is it just because he's too young? No idea. I don't know. Is he ready? This no. is what the, the I mean. New it's cool ju- I mean, Ron Rivera doing? says he's ready. Does this look like a guy who could take the mean, mean words of of his <laughs> offensive coordinator? You know, like, can he handle the mean coaching? Well, Rich, are you sure this, is, this isn't just a hair envy? Um, you know, look, as somebody who's got more hair on his chin than I do in my head. <laughs> I take offense. Uh, I'll be very honest. It, but, it yeah. was uh, I, I, serious. What's it's going your on here? Show. I know like that. you I guys, know. it's his Unbel- show. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's all right. unbelievable. And this guy is the I'm, worst. I, I have to sit next to him and his beautiful hair every day. His luscious all right, locks. All right. All right. All right. Uh, hey, we're doing all right. All right. You're, we're doing terrifically. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 